so we got one hexine treated with HBr, and you can see it's, it still follows the same rules. Uh, it's still more carbon to carbon addition. The Br still adds to the next the uh, most substituted carbon, and so that's the answer to that. And then the second one, uh, adding Cl2, it follows the same rules as you would if you were adding it to an alkene, right? You add chlorine, you go through an intermediate, and the chlorines add trans to one another. Uh, the Linlar's catalyst, again, it just, it'll just reduce that down to an alkene. Alkene. It can't be trans with cis because it's a terminal alkyne, so you don't have any stereochemistry. Uh, and then the uh, oxymercuration, where the mercury catalyzed hydration, right? If you look at the starting material, let me pull that down here, I'll copy it. And then I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on there with both of these. Right, so you got basically these two carbons right here that are gonna be involved in that reaction, right? So for the mercury catalyzed reaction, that's Markovnikov. The enol is gonna, the OH is gonna be here in the enol. I'm just gonna draw the intermediate. Like that, and that'll be CH2. Then when that intermediate rearranges, it's gonna give you that ketone that you see over to the right. All right, and then for the second one, which is a hydroboration, it's gonna give you an enol, but it's gonna be here. All right, and that when that rearranges, it's gonna give you the aldehyde that you see over to the right. Because it's anti Markovnikov. That's BAM, and this is. Come on now. BAM. All right. And then for the next one, that's a that's a, uh, a satellite anion formation, right? So you got here. That a satellite anion that you make. Is going to react with CH3Br or methyl bromide, like so, right? And you're going to get a methyl group attached to the end of that alkyne. And then with the two HCLs, this is the product. It's still going to follow my carbon cause rule. So when I add one, it's going to give me this. Come on. And then when I add the second one, it's going to the chlorine is still going to add to the more substituted carbon. All right, so that's the that's the end of those questions. On Monday, we're going to start a new unit, uh, but it's a lot. It's no reactions. It's just stereochemistry of alkanes, and we're going to learn a lot, but we'll start a new unit on Monday. All right, any questions? No questions. All right. Can you, can you scroll back up to the VH3 one? I have a question about lab, but that can be answered later. You can ask it now since we're still over here. Yeah, I just showed G. G is right, uh, right here. Uh, Dang it! Our group had something similar to that. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, can we show you our screen? Sure, show me your screen after you wrote it down. Oh no! I swear! I swear! I swear! Go ahead, show me. Show me what okay. you just wrote down. Oh, okay, Doctor Rosa. I promise you, I I already wrote this down. Okay. Go ahead. I share my video. Oh, wait. How you flip the camera? Um. Oh. 
Yeah, that's close, but it's not the same thing. Thank you. Okay. It's got to be an outer hide. That will be the that that will be the result of if the outer high actually got further reduced, but it's got to be an outer high like like it was shown. Was anybody still writing that, by the way? Yes. All right. Do I need? I'm gonna put my screen back up then. All right, and I'll post this to Blackboard as well. But I'll add a few more notes to it. All right. Anybody else got any questions? I had that question about lab. Go ahead. Uh, when did you say that our lab final was again? I didn't. I just okay. said it's going to be before final start. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably be um, I think the last day of class is the 17th. It's going to be sometime before the 17th. Okay. Thank you, sir. Once y'all turn in that last assignment that I just sent out, that's really going to be it. And then I'll put the lab final. I'm, I'll just do like I always do. Open it. Leave it open. You'll have a week to take it. And then once you take it, that's it. Okay. And the data sheet is due today, right? Yeah. You could. Yeah. You can turn it in. Uh, today, yes, because you got all the information you need. Because I sent you all the the last mm -hmm. numbers that you needed to fill it in. I sent them out Wednesday. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. Doctor Russell. I have a question. Go ahead. So I was in your last in person lab. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was the third group, mm -hmm. or was that the first? I couldn't remember. This is Lindsay Glenn. Because I was just trying to align my numbers with because. You sent out the email with like the three groups. I don't know which one of those people I'm in, like which numbers align with mine. Uh, I have to go back and look. Okay. I or, wanna say I wanna say group uh group three, but I I'm not sure. I have to go back and look at that list because I made that list a long time ago. It's okay, that's fine. Yeah. Or right. you can just pick one of the numbers. Okay, it won't matter. Roll with that. All right, thank you. Okay. Any anyone else? Oh, Dr. Russell. Yes. Is there any way like you can tell me my grade in the class? Who who is this? Kayla Moncrief. Uh yeah, I can't do it right this second, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I mean I have to calculate it. But that I can calculate it and let you know something later on today. But I got a meeting coming up now. I got another meeting at one and another one at two. So it'll be sometime this afternoon. Or is the grade like in Blackboard, is that like pretty much our grade? I wouldn't I wouldn't say yes. I'm not gonna say yes to that because sometimes Blackboard oh, it inflates the grades. Oh, okay. Because it gotcha. doesn't count it doesn't count anything that's missing against you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I wouldn't take that for gospel. I'll, I'll show you what your grade is. It'll just be later this afternoon. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Everybody good? All right, so I'm gonna stop the recording. Good as a